to produce the spanner on the screen. So the very first thing we are going to draw is an horizontal line in this form. All right. So after drawing that horizontal line, we are going to project a perpendicular line to so that horizontal line like this. All right. So after doing that, the next procedure is this. Uh, we are constructing an angle of 60 degree towards the horizontal axis in this manner. Okay. So I draw that 60 degree. All right. So after doing that, I am constructing an angle 30 degree on this axis. All right. In this manner. Okay. So having the lines projected in that form, this is projected at angle 30 degrees to the horizontal. Why this is projected at angle what angle 60 degree to the horizontal? So we take note that the total span for the amount of our spanner is what is 40. So with radius 20, I place my compass at the midpoint here. I strike 20 on this axis, and I also strike what 20 on this axis. So having it in that way, I am going to uh, project lines parallel to this midpoint at angle what 60 degree. Okay. That. We take note that from the midpoint here, yeah, to the top here, we are having a dimension of what of 13. So picking my ruler, I'm going to measure 13 from the midpoint here. Of that. Produce a line at what angle 30 degree to link uh, the two other parallel lines all together. Okay, so that is it now. So here to here is what is 13. So after doing that, the next procedure is this. Let's draw uh, the arc joining this line and this line together. And we are told that the arc joining it together is what? Arc of radius 23. So with your compass, measure 23. Okay, with radius 23, place your compass at the midpoint here. All right, then what? Then draw the arc in this manner. All right, that's it. So after drawing that, take note the curve, the arc coming from here, and this area is what? Arc of radius, what? Radius 30. So with your radius 30, place your compass at this point here. All right, strike an arc. So wherever the arc touches this area, that is your first point of intersection. So from that center, draw an arc draw. From with radius, what? With radius 30 so make it light don't make it stick yet make it light all right so then with the same radius 30 from this junction also strike an arc yeah so wherever the arc touches uh this area here mark it out place your compass and what and draw another arc of what of radius 30 so make it light make it thin all right so after doing that the arc joining the two arc of radius 30 together is radius what is radius 53 so with your compass measure radius 53 with radius 53 from the midpoint here, with radius 53, then draw. So by the time we draw, we see that our arc flushes uh, with the two arc of radius. So I'm going to what, taking it out once and for all. Okay, then I take this area out and I take this area out. So the next thing is I'm going to join this area. I'm going to take it also down there, then from this junction down there. All right, so what's left for us to do is to get uh, the bottom here and the bottom here. Okay, so how do we do that? Take note of this, take note. So from the midpoint here, the span of the angle here is what is 34. So with your compass, measure 17 towards the left and what 17 towards the right. Okay, so this is mark 17 towards the left and mark 17 towards the right. Having those marks, project them what vertically, vertically. Okay, so having projected them vertically, the next procedure is this. This is the next procedure. The radius of the arc joining this area here is arc of what radius 20. Radius 20. So with my uh ruler or compass, so from the edge of the straight line at the top here, all right. I'm measuring what radius 20. So this 20 right here, then I'm going to what pull it downward. I'm going to okay. So after from here to here now is what is 20. So take note, the arc joining this area down to this area is an external arc. It is an external arc, all right? And uh, we are going to apply the principle of addition, all right? Principle of addition and arc on a straight line. That we are going to actually apply here. So radius, uh, the radius of this arc coming here, where the arc of this 20 line is what is radius 30. So 30 plus 20 is what is 50. So from the midpoint of arc of radius 30 with uh the measurement of 50 on your compass strike an arc touching this line of radius uh 20 here uh this arc, uh, this line of uh, distance 20 from this area here so with my radius 50 on my compass 
I'm going to place it here. This was where I draw the arc of radio 30, then I'm going to what? strike an arc. So this is the point of intersection I am what looking for. So then measure radius 20, then draw the intersecting arc. So with radius 20, I what I draw the intersecting arc, which is this, which is this. All right, that area is settled. So on this other side here, on this other side here, the radius of our arc is what is 55, and it's what with external target. So uh, from this line here, okay, which is this same junction here, I'm going to measure 55 towards the outside. And this is what this 55 right here. So I'm going to project it downwards. All right. Okay. We take note that the arc is what radius 55, radius 55, and the arc at which it is lying on here is what is radius 53. So 55 plus 53 is what that is 108. That is 108. So from the midpoint of the arc of radius 53 here, which is here, with Radius 108 on your compass with radius 108 on your compass. Place it at the midpoint here, then what strike and arc. Whatever the arc touches the state line is your what is your point of intersection. Then from this point of intersection, pick your compass and measure radius what radius 55 to draw the intersecting arc. Okay, so with radius 55, place your compass at the point of intersection, which we got here earlier on, and what and draw and draw. Okay, so this is the intersecting arc right here. Then Pick your ruler and what and join draw this area what downwards then this area also what downwards okay so with uh, a breakage line symbol okay so that is the solution for this particular question kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you